everyone welcome back to my channel it's Renelli if this is your first video y'all hit that subscribe button like this video share comment and y'all today I have another Pennywise haul for y'all and the last Pennywise haul was when I ordered my Pennywise via whatsapp um however I finally got the opportunity to go into Pennywise so let's just get into this haul The first thing that I purchased was this disposable face mask. I actually made a mistake. My mom sent me for the cloth mask because in case you all don't know Pennywise actually has cloth mask. Um, so she sent me for that and uh, I bought disposable mask because I thought that's what she meant. But it's 2020, we're in the middle of a pandemic. It will always come in handy during this time. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased was this cloth mask. I really like the color of it. Let me just try it on for you all. So it looks something like this. Yeah, I don't know that I have to pull down this part here, but yeah. So, I like the color and everything, but the only thing with this is I feel like I'm stifling. So when I wear my other cloth mask, I'm like good or whatever, but for some reason, I don't know if it was me on that day, maybe I could give it a next try, but I feel like I was stifling in this mask. Next, I got a pack of Anorexin, and I use this when I'm on my monthly, my monthly, just because this is supposed to be like an iron supplement, and it really gives me the energy that I need. It lasts very long, because once I take one of these during my cycle, I'm like good for the rest of it, so. I got this. Next I got a box of Panadol Ultra and you're probably saying so wait every haul you're gonna buy a box of Panadol and the answer is yes. I got um, these bath scrub gloves. So yeah I just decided to get this one and plus it is my favorite color pink and yeah. So the next thing that I purchased is this umbrella. It's the rainy season and the umbrella that I have is kind of um, it's just a mess right now the handle came off and it still works it still does the job but I just prefer to be like safe because if the handle missing then something else might happen and I'm not going through that during this good good rainy season so yeah, I got myself this umbrella all right y'all so moving on to the more beauty category I'll call this um I had to stock up on a few makeup stuff and yeah so that's what I did the first thing I have is the color cucumber makeup remover cleansing tissues I had this exact one and there's one more um, cleansing tissue left in it so I just decided to buy this one one time I really love how this smells my skin is very sensitive so once I find something that is working well for me on my face I don't like to experiment at all so I just I'll just be sticking to this one because I don't get breakouts. That's the most important thing right now. All right, and then I got this Blossom. Um, it's a pack of makeup wedges. I believe they call these. They're cosmetic wedges. It has 16 pieces, and I just bought this because, yes, I use, like, the beauty blender or whatever. But sometimes, you know, like, to get under here, you just want to... How the wedges are shaped, it's just, like, easier to just, like, go under here and just put, like, whatever under there. So I decided to try it out and this is something that people have you know they use all the time I just never purchased it because I like my beauty blender and uh, yeah so I will be trying this so, speaking of beauty blenders I decided to purchase another beauty blender this was cheap or whatever but who cares once it's going once it's doing the job so hopefully it does the job because <laughs> it's pretty cheap you know all right y'all so still on makeup I bought this LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade chestnut was it Gabby Somebody was using the Elegale Pro Conceal to um, do their contour, so I decided to try a shade that I've never tried before, which is Chestnut. The phone that I usually use, I use medium beige sometimes to like highlight and then fawn um, for everything else. But I just feel like the phone is so close to like my skin complexion that it doesn't really do anything in terms of contouring. So I decided to, to try a shade darker. And yeah. And then I repurchased my Jordana Complete Coverage Twin One Concealer foundation this is in the shade mahogany this is the one i use all the time if you all watch like my chit chat get ready with me or anytime i apply makeup most of the times i use this um first to kind of cover up the little dark spots that i may have going on and then i cover it with my foundation i really 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 love this i feel like this gives me a very flawless look this is really i really like it. still on makeup Next, I have this Caramia Eyebrow Styler, and this is in the shade Black Brown. It comes with a spoolie on one end, and then the retractable thing on the next end. Now, I personally don't really like using. I didn't know how it looked because it actually had a plastic on it. Um, so these ones that has this kind of shape, whatever they call this shape, I don't particularly like it. 
But I decided that I'm going to give it a try. So sometimes when I don't feel to use any gel and I just want to do like a quick, quick, quick thing, I could just use this pencil and hopefully it works because the pencil that I had, which was the, I still have the Maybelline Ultra Thin Brow Pencil that I have been, I've been meaning to do a review on. I absolutely hate that eyebrow pencil and I want a good eyebrow pencil. So hopefully this one actually does like a way better job than that Maybelline that I spent 50 something to 70 something dollars for like it was just it was just a mess next come on come back to me come back to me baby come back to me oh yeah in my heart I still believe we were meant to be together for whatever baby come back you know I don't even know who's in that was it Ashley to steal one of them Disney Channel songs baby come back or was it Chia who like I don't know I purchased this J Lash um, eyelashes. I got some PR lashes from Fashion X Halo. But you know, those are more like extravagant and more dramatic. And sometimes you just want a chill look. So I decided to go and buy this J Lash one. Not looking at it, I'm like, I don't even like how it's looking. But I don't know. Follow me on Instagram because, like, majority of the stuff, like makeup stuff and just like face stuff and beauty and being like a whole model that I'm not. Is Instagram so follow me on Instagram if you want to probably see how like these apply and I purchased these elite beauty razors you all I just like sometimes like right now actually I have like some hair kind of growing down here I just take it and I clean it up to be honest I don't really know if I would be going and wax as often I feel like this whole COVID experience just told me to do so I mean I always knew how to do it but I never I just depended on my my um brow lady um but I feel like I'll still go now and again but it's just so easy to just go in the mirror and just like clean up your, your um, eyebrows so and let's also talk about the packaging I really really like the packaging of it it's so girly and it, it just looks very bougie although it's I think it was cheap but you know it's okay bougie on a budget <laughs> So next I have like nail polish. I don't really buy these, you all don't really see nail polish in my in my haul because I would buy one month and they last very long so there's really no reason to just like continuously buy them and I don't really deal up with like nail polish anyway. But I wanted to get this to do my toes, hopefully my sister will do my toes as soon as possible. Cause I just did my pamper routine and I didn't get to do my toes cause she didn't have time. She's doing exams right now, yeah. So hopefully she could do it soon for me. And then I also got, um a clear nail polish like a top coat so yeah i got these two so last category i don't know i always just save the hair products for like last because it's like my favorite thing i don't know if it's all your favorite thing but i like to show my hair products last anyway so happy that i went to pennywise and i got back my soft and silky in the aloe vera the best one in my opinion in my opinion you could you know try the agon one if you want but i will just really i will stick to this one and plus it smells really good so yeah, it smells really good. I love this one. Next, I purchased this Nature's Collection Share Coconut Shampoo. And I do have shampoo from what I purchased when I went to Pennywise in April. But I wanted the ones that I have is sulfate free. Um, and I wanted something that would be like more harsh. I know it sounds weird, but before I put this in, I really wanted to get like all like all products out of my hair, and this really works for me. And one last thing about the shampoo, it smells really, 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 really good. And y'all, I still have conditioner, but a lot of the times conditioner finishes very very fast for me like it finishes faster than the shampoo because sometimes I co-wash my hair I don't have like a special co-wash I co-wash my hair with conditioner it doesn't have to mark co-wash on it I just use like whatever conditioner I'm using to co-wash my hair and I have been looking for this one for the past few months I used to buy it you all would have seen it in my haul if you all are custom watching and for some reason you know it just disappeared and I finally got it back so although I have conditioner I was like girl you need to pick that conditioner back up one time and that is my VO5 Kiwi Line Squeeze with Lemongrass Extract Conditioner this smells really good it has my hair soft it detangles my hair in the shower this is this is really if you all never used this before take my advice well actually no because they're not they're gonna buy it out <laughs> and then well when i went to pennywise in may <clears throat> i picked up this uh, softy naturals uh, pure share shine pomade i always talk about this and when i went in june took up another one and i still have one that i'm using from so i'm not going to be out of this anytime soon if you all watched my wash day routine i use this in my hair and it twists out 
was bomb the next day y'all can head over to that video watch their routine i'll link it in the cards and in the description below and yeah so i really really like this pomade all right y'all so we're coming on to the end of this video i'm going to show you all my last few items and they are oils i have to just repurchase some of my oils not all of them but i repurchased some so i got the castor oil I think I bought it in December Pennywise haul when I went to Pennywise Plaza and I opened it during Vlogmas and I wasn't sure if it worked and a lot of people were saying yeah it works just like Jamaican castor oil I really really like it so I bought it to put in my oil mix oh, then I also purchased the Viennese glycerin Viennese is one for me is one of the best brands in terms of oils I feel like the oil is very I feel like it is pure somebody else might say it is not pure I feel like it's pure this is the vegetable glycerin we are finally at the end of this haul for y'all <laughs> I repurchased my lavender oil I think I told you all that this oil is very good because I y'all I just I could never sleep yeah I put this in my diffuser sometimes or sometimes I'll just like rub it on my pillowcase I rub it on my temple um and it really works in terms of like getting you it, it works it helps you to calm down it helps you to sleep it helps you to reduce stress i just really like this oil and again this is by vns so i hope that you all enjoyed this one i know it was pretty long but i kind of just wanted to combine the, um what i purchased in may and the few stuff that i purchased in june so you know it was kind of long don't forget to like this video share comment and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel we are growing and i'm loving it okay so i will see you guys in the next one Later!